It's time to pray, all you smarter than a fifth grader. Let's meet your classmates, Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's start it. Time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. We have two animal science questions. And those are the only ones uh, that have more than once. This shouldn't be too hard for you. The largest animal in the world. The blue whale. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. I knew that one. I got $1,000. Wow. Let's pick a subject. And this is important, so take your time, but not too much time. Got it. For $2,000, here is the question. So Mexico is located south of the United States. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, south. It's amazing how useful some of the stuff you learned in school turns out to be. It is so Next amazing. Two, we got two thousand dollars. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Pick another subject. Here is our second grade question. An oyster. I'm gonna go with frustration. That is not it's a correct. It's Let's a see if your classmate can handle this one. Oh, your classmate Thank really you, saved Cynthia. you that time. We got five thousand dollars. Let's pick a subject. Here is our second grade question. For ten thousand dollars. So oil boils at two hundred twelve degrees Fahrenheit, but it's hundred degrees Celsius. You got that one right. We got $10,000. Now this next one is fairly important. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. If we did this next one correct, we are guaranteed money. Pick another subject. Let's see what third grade questions are all about. Well, Puerto Rico is officially not a state, so I'm going to say true. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. We got $25,000. Guaranteed. No matter what happens from this point on, the worst you can do is win $25,000. Let's pick a subject. And don't and say I'll lunch say because it's, it's not, not up there. Up there. Yeah. For fifty thousand dollars, here is the question. Which planet is not considered an inner planet? Um, I believe the inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. I'm gonna say Jupiter is not an inner planet. It's amazing how useful some of the stuff you learned in school turns out to be. We got fifty thousand dollars. The fifth grader you pick here will help you out with questions you can't answer. In the game, not in real life. I see. Pick another subject. Math. Sorry, they don't get any easier than the first grade. Yeah. Here is our fourth grade question. A parallel is when the four sides are the same length for the verticals are right angles. For four sides of well, it's not a trapezoid, it's not a kite. A square is a parallelogram with four sides of the same length. Let's go square. 
Was grade school this tough for you the first time around? No. You are not the fastest horse on the track, but at least you got the answer right. We got one hundred thousand dollars. Let's pick a subject. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, can we see the question, please? Let's see. I'm gonna copy. Oh, let's hope your classmate gets this one right. Sometimes even a fifth grader can't save you. Well, it looks like you're on your own. It's okay, Edward. You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. I am not smaller than the fifth grader, but I'm playing again. <laughs> Let's meet your classmates, Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Oh my gosh. There's three animal science questions and three U.S. geography questions. This is going to be tough. Here's, Here's the, question. the question. Besides tasting food, the tongue is also important for breathing. Yes. There's right answers, really? and then there's wrong answers. That was a wrong answer. Let's see if your classmate knows what the answer is. These fifth graders really know their stuff. I got one thousand dollars. Okay. For some reason I thought it was also for breathing, but it's Pick okay. Another it's subject. It's okay. And the question is. Uh, I'm gonna peek. Let's see what your classmate's answer is. Pine. These fifth graders must have studied. I got two thousand dollars because that is the right answer. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Let's pick a subject. You're playing for five thousand dollars. All right. I'm gonna say false. It's amazing how useful some of the stuff you learned in school turns out to be. I got five thousand dollars. All right. Pick another subject. And yes, those are all actual grade school subjects. <laughs> Here is our second grade question. Well, Wisconsin. It's one, so that's one. Washington is another one. Wyoming is another one, that's three. This question is normally answered by seven-year-olds. You still I... have a copy left. West Virginia, that's four. Well, that took a while, but you got it right. I got ten thousand dollars. It's time to pick another classmate. Let's pick a subject. Let's see your question. This is for twenty-five twenty-five thousand. I'm gonna copy. What kind of answer did your classmate come up with? There are some questions even fifth graders can't answer. Mimicry. Even the fifth graders can't save you this time. 
All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am I not, am not smarter, smarter than a fifth, fifth grader. But I'm praying it then. Let's meet your classmates. Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All oh, right. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. There's two spelling questions to... And that's basically as far as duplicates. Well, I guess we'll see if you're smarter than a first grader. Hmm. Well, crawl means four. Quattro means four in Spanish, so I'm going to say four. You must have been absent that day, huh? I don't we know, better French. better ask the expert. Fourteen? Never yeah. underestimate the power of fifth I got one thousand dollars. Pick another subject. For two thousand dollars, here is the question. I'm going to say true. That is correct. I got two thousand dollars. So, oof. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Neptune or Anus or not visible? And don't say recess because it is not up there. Okay. And the question goes something like this. I believe it was Story Night. It's amazing how useful some of the stuff you learned in school turns out to be. I have five thousand dollars. Pick another subject. And this is important, so take your time, but not too much time. Okay. Here is our second grade question. Well, I believe Abraham Lincoln was born in Illinois. That's it? That's the right answer. I got $10,000. It's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out when the questions get too hard. Okay. Let's pick a subject. A third grade question, huh? Yep. Well, let's see what it is. What okay. I just had this question and got it wrong. Mimicry. You got that one right. Now I got tw Now I got $25,000. No matter what happens from this point on, the worst you can do is win $25,000. Pick another subject. Spelling. Here is our third grade question. Volcanoes. That is correct. I got fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to do fine. Let's pick a subject. Vocabulary. Here is our fourth grade question. A power drum is a is a word where it is spelled forward and backward the same way. So I. Wow. Civic. C i v i c c i v i c. Yep, it's civic. That is. Correct! I got $100,000. Yeah. Pick another subject. Here is our fourth grade question. 
How many times does the letter A appear in the following word? Against. Against. A. G. A. I. N. S. T. That's two A's. A. G. A. I. N. S. T. I bet you never thought you'd need to remember that later in life. I got $175,000. Oh, this is dang good. You're down to your last classmate. Let's pick a subject. All right, here's our question for $300,000. 67 is a prime number. Let's see. You look like you're sweating a little bit. Do you need to see the school nurse? I'm going to say true. Don't forget, you still have all your cheats left. After only a few short hours of deliberation, you got the right answer. I got three hundred thousand dollars. I got three hundred thousand dollars. All right. Pick another subject, and don't say lunch because it's not up there. If we did this last question right, we are going to see the question worth a million dollars. You are going to need more than a thinking cap for this one. After boring a strike, how many bonus frames do you... Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. Two. I think that's right. This question is normally answered by 10-year-olds. Oh, your class yes. really saved you that time. I got five hundred thousand dollars. All right. Let's see what the subject of the million dollar question is. Now, once you see the question, you have to answer. Okay. The pressure is really on now. Yes, the game it is. Hinges on this one final question. It is on. What do you call the figure of speech when one object is used in place of another? What? Oh my gosh. I bet your favorite subject was lunch, wasn't it? One object is used in place of another. One object is used in place of another. I don't I'm know. Guess that you spent a lot more time hanging out behind the library instead of in it. I don't know. You didn't get that one right, but you probably could have taken the fifth grade over again in the time it took you to come up with your answer. It doesn't give us the you answer. $25,000. Now repeat after me. I am, I am not, not smarter, smarter than, than the fifth grader. But it was a good game.